Hey folks, and welcome to Drinking Alone with Friends, a podcast where three friends drink alone together. My name's Chris. I'm Ted. And I'm Obert. And we're back from the future. Yeah, Ooh. we've returned. Yes, we, yes, we have. We got yeah. it up to 88, and we're back talking to you in the past. 2100 gigawatts. <laughs> A little bit of background on who we are. Uh, we are three friends who grew up together uh, on the same street, no less. That on the same side of the road, too. Same side of the road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, did, I never thought about that, but that is, that is true. Yeah. And we, yeah, the same, same bus ride for many years together. So we all grew up in the same town together. And recently, we, two of us have left, left the state after being lifelong friends. Chris, you moved to Tennessee. Yeah, about a year ago, almost a year ago, I moved down here with my wife and my, at the time, three-month-old son, and uh, you guys both helped me move the, my cats, all three cats. Yeah, that's a crowded, crowded yeah. Prius ride. <laughs> all the way to Tennessee in a Prius All the way to Tennessee, straight through. Um, so, yep, took a job down here and packed up and moved down south. And I left Connecticut about two weeks later to move uh, across the country to Montana. So, he has no cats, people. Yeah. We did not have to drive him across the... <laughs> or I didn't have to drive him across the country. Yeah. No cats were harmed in the move to Montana. <laughs> yeah, and and Obert, what, you're the fifth person, fourth person in yeah. Montana, right? Number four. Okay. There's, there's well, only four. Good. And then they left me here in Connecticut. Yeah, Ted's holding down the homestead, uh, drinking all of the great Connecticut beers and reminding us of all the IPAs that we're missing out on. That is the one benefit of Connecticut is the beer is fantastic. Yeah, but I mean, as we're learning, the beer is the beer is good in Tennessee and the beer is good in Montana as well. So very true, you know, and, you know, we were uh, we would always spend time generally in Tud's basement, you know, going through his his cave of beers. Uh, you know, he probably has more beers in his house than there are in most liquor stores. But I'm Batman. You know, <laughs> And uh, we would just sit there and, you know, hang out, drink beers, play games, all that fun stuff. And, you know, after five months or so of not doing that, we were like, well, this kind of stinks. We should uh, we should do this again. We should, you know, make a podcast. So that's what we decided to do. So, you know, we uh, every podcast, which we release every Thursday, we go through and we'll review uh, a beer or a drink or a wine or whatever it may be and it's kind of nice because being in three different states three different time zones we are able to highlight local breweries that you know we may have never heard of before if we all just stayed in connecticut so you know get that new the new england stuff like we talked about the the southern the southern flavor and then you know the montana beers which yeah the western western beers <laughs> yeah there you go the western but not west coast beers the western beers. right yeah but from there on we uh we have some, you know, really good segments. We do some educational segments, talk about the brewing process, talk about how beer is made and what goes into beer. We do some funny stuff. I mean, we think it's funny. <laughs> Our listeners <laughs> tend to agree. <laughs> yeah, the listeners tend to agree. Uh, and then, of course, we leave everybody with our three handles on our frosty mug of wisdom. We each hoist a handle and leave you with something to think about for the next week or something to try or something to, you know, a life hack or whatever it may be. Yeah, we keep the handles pretty open ended. And I think we've had some good ones over the episodes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So. Mine are all great, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. So we as creators realized that, you know, the first few episodes that we did were not, quote unquote, the best the best podcast episodes somebody could deliver. Obviously, po making podcasts is not an easy process. Yeah, we were. this was our first podcast ever for all three of us making yep. it. And we learned a yep. lot. And I think we learned pretty fast. But you could definitely tell if you started episode one that uh, we're still figuring it out. Right. So we wanted to you know, come out from the future before the, the past and speak to you guys and tell you guys that it does get better. If you start from episode one, please be warned that it is rough. Um, we as the creators, you know, have picked out some of our favorite episodes, starting with episode seven. And we believe that if a new listener were to start at episode seven or later, that they would get, you know, they would see the podcast in a better format than it was at, at first. So if you do decide to stick with episode one and listen all the way through, we do ask that you just at least keep on going and just know that it, you know, 
it does inf- indeed get better. If you started episode seven, you know, eventually we ask that you go back and listen to one through six just so you get all the inside jokes. Yeah, I'm looking through our list now. Seven was great. Eight was our first or face your candy fierce. We did Ooh. some other great yep, stuff. Yep, yep. Uh, I mean, if if you wanted to start in at number fifteen and sixteen, I think those are great episodes too. Just some some of our favorites. Yeah, no, and even the most recent ones are awesome. I mean, you could start at episode twenty one and ninety nine or three hundred and five. I'm assuming right. that, that we've not released that many by now. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean. The most recent, you know, if you're listening in the uh, what 2030 or whatever, then Chris, then get good. your fourth son out of frame here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, CJ, I just name them all CJ, so it's easy. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we have some some great episodes out there, like they were saying, and uh, we hope you stick around, hope, hope you enjoy it. We all sound like this, by the way, for the future episodes, so <laughs> yes. So, with that, my name's Tud. My name's Chris. And I'm Obert. And remember, if you're drinking alone, do it with friends. Okay, so now that we're here, who's gonna who's gonna buy the the sports journal? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I think I see CJ1 is is uh